Here's Geometrics, Geoelectrical Instrumentation Product Manager, Doug Groom. What we're going to do today is look at the processing and editing of OMAPR data. After the OMAPR data has been acquired and stored in the data logging console, the next step is to download the data from the OMAPR console to your desktop or laptop PC. Uh, and then we can edit and process that data. Uh, so let's go and look at the processing of the data right now. Uh, this data has already been downloaded to the PC. So the first thing that we need to do is to open the data file. And I am going to open this data file called Biesterfeld. It's a bin or binary file. And it's binary data. The first thing that we see is a selection of the types of surveys that can be done. Uh, these are our line positions and our line spacing. We're actually going to do all of our orientation and coordination using GPS data. So I'm just going to say OK. And uh, we have done 22 lines running from south to north and then turning, going from north back to south. But the first thing we're going to do is change all of these positions into the GPS positions that were logged along with the data. So we go to GPS on the menu. The positions of our lines are all oriented right now only based to fit the screen. So what we need to do is we need to change this to true map coordinates which will fit it to the true north-south-east-west coordinates. And then we will shape our screen to fit the map. The red boxes are the end of the line. The green boxes are the beginning of the line. And all of these blue boxes are each a GPS positioning along the line. You'll notice that there is one outlier here. Uh, this was not differentially corrected GPS, so this is merely a, uh, a stray GPS reading. And we're going to fix that simply by removing that position and editing out that position. And yes, we're going to delete the position, but we are not deleting the data. We are simply going to interpolate the position between the the two good GPS readings on either side of that. The next thing we need to do is we need to put these readings in UTM coordinates in order to uh, have meters that we can work with in our measurement. So we go to GPS, click on UTM setup, and enable a UTM transformation. And now our coordinates are in UTM northing and UTM easting. The next thing we want to do is look at the quality of the data. And the way that we would do that is to simply plot the OMAPR readings And you'll notice there are some spurious spikes here. Uh, these may be caused by a number of things, but it is unlikely that the real data, because they're single spikes in the data set. And what we want to do, because these spikes are uninterpretable, is elimin 
eliminate those spikes. 